Good morning, I'm Renee. It's 9am and I'm here with Demon Kiss. It felt so surreal discussing anime terms with a man for who, for all intents and purposes, was an actual fucking demon. <laughs> Not intentionally. There seemed to be a story there, but I wasn't going to push. Please do push. Let's find out. Why does he know cosplay? Ahem. You must have been that fool who interrupted my return spell. What spell? Oh, well, whoops. He lifted his hand so that it pinched the bridge of his nose. His ex exasperation was so palpable I could feel it rubbing on my own skin. Um, you're not going to, like, kill me, are you? I am against that, yes. He looked at me for a second, as if considering the idea. Hey, hey, it wasn't my fault I stumbled down here, was it? You can't kill me. He can, probably. Can I at least check this place out first? Who never felt that way to me? I've always felt out of place, but now that I'm in a new strange world, ignore the background noise if you hear it. Shh. I had to see what it was all about. The demon looked at me strangely. You're not afraid of me? Give me a second, I'm gonna go close my door. It was the door that opened it in the first place. No, I'm not going to edit that out. That would require effort. You're not afraid of me? No. You're a little too cute to be afraid of. I blinked. In my mind, I knew he was some kind of demonic entity that could kill me by snapping his fingers or something. I didn't actually know how demons worked. Maybe it was my fuzzy mind of the atmosphere of being in a completely different realm. I felt bolder. I would be lying if I said I wasn't. I see. It was quiet for a few moments. My butt felt numb for being on the floor, although it wasn't. The, although it's strange that she wasn't cold. Can I uh, sit somewhere better? Very well, strange human. Follow me inside. Hey, thanks for not killing me. I really want to read those loading screens. You're so rude for not letting me read them. I walked into the mansion with the demon guy. Like, you, if you're gonna give me a wall of text, at least let me read it. Whoa, this place is huge. Looks pretty. Although... Don't know if I would go for that interior decoration. I wonder what this guy, demon guy, does for a living. I realize I was still calling him demon guy and not by his name. What's your name? No mortal does not require that information. Maybe, but I'm calling you demon guy may not be the best. He glared at me. Do not call me that unless you wish to become dust underneath my feet. Ah, uh, I don't? He looked at me skeptically. You do not sound sure. <laughs> I am not sure. I don't. I definitely don't. Demon guy looks so dumb. I didn't blame him. <laughs> uh. <laughs> Wait, what? Very well, you can call me Trisse Tar Von Floof. You shall be Floof from now on. Doesn't actually roll off the th tongue. Maybe so, but mere mortal tongues are not meant to speak it. In then case, refer to me as Trisse Tar henceforth. No, I want to call you Floof. Okay, Trisse Tar. Wasn't short either, but I wasn't about to complain. It was better than before. I still prefer floof. 
After a walk that was far too long, we reached the interior of the mansion. Huff. Puff. It has been a while since I've interacted with mortals, but I do require them having far superior athleticism. Yes. Uh, yeah, about that. I was too embarrassed to admit I had never really exercised, and I don't think walking to the kitchen for a fresh pack of nachos was exercise. It's different for me. Hmm. It doesn't concern me. Really? He walked down the hallway and opened the door. This is where you'll stay. Do not leave this room under any circumstances. Am I a prisoner? Bitch. A million questions and states have flown into my head, but the door slammed shut. I looked around the barren room. It was dark and gloomy with barely anything in it. I am a prisoner. Makes me want to leave the room. Then my stomach rumbled. I'm hungry. Ah, I hadn't eaten a single thing during the party. I was so hungry. I was in the demon realm. There, but there'll probably be root food, right? I looked around. I wasn't gonna do, get going to risk getting killed by leaving or perhaps meeting up with less altruistic Teven, but I felt a lot of strange feelings and wasn't sure how to process it. I feel strangely excited. Maybe this new realm was strange and scary, but it was different. A breath of fresh air, literally. Pretty ironic that hell had better air than Los Angeles. I really wanted to see what, that what was out there. Too bad I was stuck inside a tiny room. Hmm. I didn't want to spend all day just staring at a wall. Day? Did day hell even have day-night cycle? Was it 24 hours? How does time work here? Yeah. As I was pondering those questions, a small black cat walked up to me, balancing oranges on its head. Whoa. I was always a cat person, so I couldn't help opening my arms to welcome it, but it would just stare at me coldly. Wow, you sure have an attitude, huh? Despite that, I couldn't help but find it super adorable. The cat got closer and dumped three oranges in my lap. Oh, you're a sweetheart. I opened my arms to welcome you, but it stared at me in disgust. Although I would have liked to have played with it, the oranges caught my attention. I was far too hungry to ignore her. Cutie, cutie, I love cats. And anyone who likes cats too, arises above like... It's a lot easier for me to talk to people who also like cats. It's a you know, conversation topic, but it also tells a lot about the person, all right? Like, if you don't like cats, we, maybe we can be friends still. But, like, if you like cats, it's a lot easier. <laughs> I'm weird like that. I greedily started peeling the oranges and munching them down. Wow, these are great. After I finished a third orange, in a matter of minutes, I felt somewhat sated. I looked for the cat to thank it, but it was gone. Oh no. I got off the bed and looked for it. But it wasn't just hiding in a room, it had definitely left. Strangely, I didn't hear it. I held the bundle of peels in my hand, but I didn't know what to do with it. Did you wonder? But the cat were leaving the room without you noticing, but not the fact that it was balancing oranges on its head. Excuse me. <laughs> Doesn't look like there's a trash can here. A strange vision popped in my head of Trisadar smiting me for leaving food waste on his floor. Such a scenario was unlikely, but I felt rattled. Besides, he couldn't expect me to stay inside forever, could he? I cracked open the door slightly. No one was in sight. Okay, Felix, you can do this. I opened the door fully and stepped out into the hallway. Still, there was no one. After walking for a bit, all I saw was an endless number of doors. No sign of kitchen or trash can. Oh no. I was lost. Where am I? 
I turned around to go back, but then I heard a familiar voice. I'm telling you, I have not had any contact with her. Out of instinct, I ducked next to the door and peeked into the room. Tresator is standing at the back of his office holding a crystal in his palm. I heard a small voice coming out of the crystal, but it was far it was too far away for me to hear. Father, I speak the truth. Kali has not responded to my cause. Uh, I fear she has taken refuge amongst the humans. I hear shrieking from the crystal and flinched. Luckily, it seemed Tresator didn't hear me. I understand your concern. I took steps to locate her, but there was an unfortunate incident. As a result, a search was delayed. I see. Very well. I will not fail. He placed the crystal down on the windowsill and turned around. He walked towards the door, and I froze. I was just, uh, I pointed to the orange peels in my hand. Looking for a place to dump this, I swear. Chisadon narrowed his eyes. Oof. He pointed a long black nail to the orange peels and they vanished. What? Where did they go? Chisadon sighed. Okay, give me the magic of disappearing in the trash. That would be very useful. Incredibly useful. Would it work on fur? Because I have four cats and a dog in my house. There's a lot of fur in my room because my, the dog likes to sleep in my room. A lot of cats like to sleep in my room. There's so much fur and it's spring. It's even worse. Although a dog doesn't quite realize it's spring yet and her fur hasn't started to change quite yet. So it isn't as bad. But she'll probably start doing that soon. Trisada sighed, I probably read that already, but who gives a shit? Now, be truthful, what did you hear? Ask about it. Well, I gotta say, I did hear what happened. And you are curious, I presume. Um, yeah, who are you talking to? And about who? Father? Trisada raised a palm. Silence, I will continue. Kali is my sister. I was supposed to find her before you got in my way. I gathered. That wasn't that hard to deduce. I think you called the person the father. And the amount of worry, or well, perhaps not worry, but need to find Kali made it seem like a sister. Or a mother, possibly, but I don't think the father would make his son do that. Although, who knows? But I did the doozy was sister. I didn't say, but shush. It wasn't on purpose. She chooses to live amongst the humans for some godforsaken reason. Oh my god. Oh my god. It's our friend, isn't it? Our too pretty friend. Is Kali, isn't it? The cutest. She is a demon, and I like her even more now. Um, I mean, if you're demons, doesn't that that not make you already? Do not complete that sentence. Fine. It must be hard though to lose a family member. I didn't have any siblings, but I knew that family was close. Even though I knew it was inevitable, I was miserable when my mother passed away. I do not know what you speak of. Kali must be present to ascend to the throne, as father is going to pass. Oh, I mean, like, don't you miss her? Trisadar just blinked. Never mind, but why were you looking for her at a Halloween party? I received intelligence that several demon-like entities gathered in swatches in do during those events, and that specific location was, in fact, one of the largest. Ugh. Instead, I ended up with you. <laughs> hey, I'll let you know that I am a catch. <laughs> I'm, in fact, a catch. <laughs> 
Crap, that was not the right thing to say. Then I remembered an important question. I want to go outside. Can I at least go outside? This place seems really interesting. You can't just expect me to stay cooped up the entire time. You fool. If you do, if not, for you messing up this spell, I would not keep you here for another second. Because of this, I cannot perform the transportation right for another three months. Floof, don't be angry at me. I messed it up? Yes. Oh, too bad. So, while I'm here, can I go outside? No. Aww. I opened my mouth to retort, but it was cut off. My my stomach was crumbling. W what about food? You gotta have more more than oranges, right? Hmm. Do not worry about that. I shall ask Dimitri Dimitris to procure some imp meat. What? I'm not gonna eat imp meat. Humans are so fussy. I have a name, you know. It's Felix. Irrelevant. I suppose I can ask Dimitris for more oranges. I do know who this Dimitris. That's not how you pronounce that name, but that's not how I'm going to pronounce that name now. But he was clearly out of his mind if he thought I could live on oranges. Ah, humans need a balanced diet. I am a cat. Take care of me, bitch. Tresator pinched the bridge of his nose. Fine. Have it your way. He glanced into his office. We can discuss this in the morning. Take rest. I must attend to my business. Ow. I suppose hell does have day and night cycles after all. Do you have enough food for breakfast then? Hmm, I suppose not. Uh, I can't be eating imp meat. That's just... No. You're such a... Very well. We shall leave for the market now. Like, right now? Yes, I was about to visit to obtain some clues about Kali's whereabouts. You may get some food there as well. Ugh, okay. So that is true motive. Very well. Well then, should I disguise myself or something? Just that I looked confused. Why? <laughs> I mean, I don't look like a demon. Should I be a human here? I don't have horns. I don't have those cute pointy ears either. Because I don't have wings and horns, Aura. My eyes trail down his outfit. Interesting costume. Trissa just spluttered. <laughs> human. First realize this is not a costume, it is a sacred attire. Most demons do not have horns and wings. This is only a privilege shared among us in high ranks. Oh, okay. I will need to disguise myself, not you. Cool, so are you gonna do it? Yes. Get out of the room. He's gonna change. Uh, aren't you supposed to be in disguise? I am in disguise. What, wait, really? <laughs> what did you do? I don't notice anything different. Of course you don't. This disguise is not for human eyes. Oh. But why, you, why wouldn't it work on humans? Because humans and demons are not only different species, they're also from different realms. I guess that makes sense. Of course, it's far more difficult to cast a spell that disguises a demon from its own kind. It takes tr a truly powerful demon, such as I, to cast one like that. You know, you could be the worst demon of all time and I wouldn't know. Because I have no knowledge of demon powers. What would be harder is a spell that makes you tolerable. Excuse me? Oh, nothing. Triss. <laughs> You're now Triss. I like it as much as Floof. Triss Floof. Looked skepti sketch skeptical, but stay quiet. Oh, I still want to read that. He works in IT. That much. 
I read. So your plan is to run up to them, drop your disguise to shock them, and then threaten them for info. Yes. Good plan. I put my face in my palms. That's an awful plan. <laughs> I very much agree. Charm? You got the face for charm. Do demons like charm? I don't know. I doubt you have any... You have a better one. I do. We need to move stealthily. Just watch. Specialty orange is half off. Hmm? The woman looked like she was about 16 years old. Her facial features were kind and gentle. What was she doing in the demon realm? Grown using all the tears of tortured souls. Apparent appearances can be deceiving. I walked down the street with Trissa Chara by my side. The other demons looked like regular humans. Surprisingly, no one seemed to notice him. His disguise was the real thing. Hmm, interesting. I'm glad I can still see your wings, though. I like your wings. After walking for a little while, the crowd of people began to feel suffocating. Ugh, I hate markets. Too much going on, and then you have to talk to people, and haggling is the worst. That requires me to talk to people. And they expect you to haggle. It, like, they put a higher price on them so that they can get haggling. They can lower the price where they actually would pay it at normally. I can't explain it well, but anyway, that's basically it. Okay, I forgot what haggle is in Finnish, and it's bothering me. Nope, not coming to mind. That's grey. Um, huff. I tried to calm down. I just needed to finish this, and then I would be able to go home. I could just play Legends of Odin and forget this ever happened. I grabbed onto my shirt and wrapped it between my index finger and thumb. I took deep breaths. breaths. Come on, Felix, you can do this. I walked up to the woman from before. Hello. She glared at me. Clearly, she hadn't heard, a bis heard of a business smile. I did my best to stay steady. What? I was... Uh, Crap, I should have thought this through. I needed to say something that would get me answers without seeming suspicious. Um, I wanted to know if you saw something like... If you're not going to buy anything, leave. I flinched. We'll be on our way. Are you kidding? You said... Fine, we'll leave. We walked away from the stall. I made a mistake of looking back and saw the granny with a terrifying expression. I sighed. The suffocating feeling wasn't gone, but it felt better now. What on earth was that? Sorry, I... You have no qualms talking boldly with me, yet you do not approach a low-ranked merchant. I... I... My heart started racing. No, not now. I expect an answer. You're making it worse. Keep it together, breathe. Count from one to ten. You... Wee, and I passed out. Thanks. You made me pass out, bitch. I looked up and saw Trisita's face inches from mine. My heart beat faster, but for a different reason from earlier. You idiot. And the moment was gone. You said we must move discreetly, yet you faint in the middle of the market. I can't control that. At the very least, you're speaking in full sentences now. I go audibly. Did I say something weird? No, you simply spoke nonsense and were mumbling phrases as Please, gacha lords, read up is a lie. <laughs> Oh, my face burned with embarrassment. I needed to change the topic. I looked around. Is this still the market? <laughs> yes. 
simply secluded part away from the rest. That sounded ominous, but there was nothing I could do. I just rested my eyes, enjoying my position. What do you think you're doing? I didn't bother answering. I just mumbled a content sigh. Being transported to literal hell was an awful, was awful and tiring. There was no way I could get up from the nice pillow beneath me. I believe I asked you a question, human. I have a name, you know. Once again, that is irrelevant. I let on another content sigh and snuggle closer. Chisodos didn't seem very thrilled with the movement, but he didn't, he didn't push me away either. You are a strange one. I am a cat. Apparently. I will... You're the one with wings and horns. Jessica continued, ignoring my con comment. No one has dared to speak so casually with me. I thought for a second before replying. Does it bother you? He shook his head. It is strange. I cannot say I like the feeling. But you don't dislike it either? I felt the smile stretch across my face. What are you smiling like a loon for? Nothing. You... I felt like I was going to say something else, but stopped. What is it? You are very different from what I initially perceived. Really? What did you think I was at first? A coward. Hey, that's not very nice. You still are. Uh, um, then. He smiled. Oh, cutie. Cutie floof. I seen the corners of the lips stood, turned up towards, and his eyes softened. And it was the cutest fucking thing. What are you looking at? And it was gone. Oh, right, food. That's why we were here. We should get going. That was... That's... That was what I was attempting to do this entire time. Oh, well, we should finish it now. Do not attempt to boss me around. I will boss you around as much as I want. Despite saying that, he stood up and dusted his lap. I felt oddly offended, but didn't say anything more. We walked back to them into the market. This time I felt much calmer. My paws weren't shaking anymore and my vision was clear. You can do this, Felix. You can do this! Chesada looked at me oddly, but didn't say anything. Our demon is very confused about the anxious human. Worry not. We just need some love, of, love and affection. We'll be fine. We walked up to a vendor after vendor, but most range from disinterested to aggressive. Along the way, I bought a couple apples, munched on them, I also got some vegetables for later. There was no meat that humans ate, and I wasn't about to try something new now. Thanks so much for getting me all this, Triss. Triss? Huh? Triss? <laughs> My name is Triss, I tell you, ignorant fool. I shrunk back in fear. I'm sorry. Triss, I I mean... We were having a decent time, and I actually forgot he's technically a demon who could kill me at any moment. We walked in silence. Here's a look of I regret my life choices. Look at him. Poor thing. He, do he doesn't think he meant that. I think he likes the nickname uh, Triss, actually. I'm gonna keep calling him that. We walked in silence among the vendors as I finished up my apples. Suddenly, I saw something shine in the corner. In a corner. What's that? I pointed to it. What are you referring to? D do you mind if I check it out? I nervously looked at him. Okay. I walked towards the shiny object and picked it up. What are you doing? Oh, you're getting... <laughs> My dog got a good position, she's so adorable. 
It looks like a button of sorts. Trisita leaned his head closer towards it. It doesn't seem familiar in any way. Hmm. Could this be a clue? It kind of felt like I was in a detective game. Badass barrister. It is likely just trash. If not, it belongs to another demon and was careful, carelessly left behind. Well, I rolled a button in my hands and pretended to be inspecting it. Hmm. Looked normal. Ah, hmm, oh. Trisadar rolled his eyes. Are you finished? Uh, um, yeah, um. I continued looking at the button. When I pressed the center of it, I noticed something strange. This is hollow. Hmm? He looked at it intrigued. That is most certainly strange. We only use real precious metals in hell. Well, that means this is either from Earth, or this is something else. Trisita stared at me. W what? You are more perceptive than I originally thought. Thank you. Kind of. Don't I look perceive? I don't remember what you said. Perceivable. No. Perceptive. <laughs> I don't look percept. No, no, no. Still, no, no, no. Finishing, finishing that sentence. Blah. I'm doing my best. If this is an important mission. Chesedo glared at me. Glad to see you're having fun. I, I didn't mean it like that. But it was true. Even if it, this wasn't an ideal situation, for once I felt like I was doing something meaningful. Despite it being so out of my comfort zone, we continued to the rest of our trip in silence. That's our best friend, who just wants us to get laid. <laughs> Since Trisada said he couldn't stand the sound of my grumbling stomach, we trudged straight for the diamond dining room. How long have I been doing this? Alright, I think that's a good spot to leave it at, so thank you for watching, I hope you have a good day, subscribe, like, my audio is real down. I don't think you heard the music the entire time, it's just me and you, that's great. Anyway, thank you for watching, bye!